Hey guys, this is Ellie. Welcome to my channel. This is for April the 24th uh, for the start of the week and I hope you'll enjoy this reading. Now this is a general reading for all the signs. Uh, if you'd like something more specific, uh, you can go check out your monthly sun, moon and rising videos. You can also book with me at www.hypnoula.com. Alternatively, I do offer a one burning question reading for $40, paid at PayPal, uh, email at PayPal, both the same, hypnoula at hotmail.com. So let's start with your reading, shall we? So for our work, we've got the seven. So you're defending your job, your role, you're defending your position to the closest people to you, which is uh, family, friends, uh, and co-workers. Now, um, you might have had a win, and now you have to step up to the plate to defend that win because someone's calling you on it. You're defending your stance, you're defending your view, you're defending a perspective, you're defending an idea at work. You're also justifying yourself, you're justifying your spending, you're justifying your role, your, um, your space in this company. Uh, also, there might be some confusion um, and you are having to jump up and step up to the plate uh, to bat for the team uh, because somebody else has fallen short. Uh, this could be that people are all sending out aggressive arguing uh, or aggressive roles all at once and your job as leader is to you know, put everyone back in their place. There could be some willful uh, challenging behaviour and this is why you're having to stand up and justify. Now this is uh, Wands, which is fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Now you are that Sag Sagittarius, Leo or Aries or you are dealing with one in your life. Now seven is the closest people to you, so those that you work with a close contact. At home we have the lover's card. Uh, this is the number six, which rules the body uh, and this is the um, Virgo sign. So you could be dealing with a Virgo in your life, a great partnership or this could be a friend who's a great partnership with you. Um, at home you're signing contracts, you're being with, um, you're with people who are lifelong, they are there in it for the lifelong, they are there to help you mentally, physically and emotionally get through this. Uh, the lover's card is about um, completion, so things around the home, you've been working on them at the moment, uh, going on to an next level, so you could be um, buying a house that's the forever home. You could be moving in with someone who's a forever uh, person. There, there is longevity in this partnership around the home. So whatever you're signing up for, whatever you're collaborating on this week around the home, it's uh, got great positive endings. Now, how's our world? Well, we've got the ten, the ten of cups, which is um, success. So great results. Uh, positive health, uh, feeling good, lots of energy and feeling like there is a rainbow after the storm. With our love we do have the seven, the seven of swords. So you're dealing with someone who likes to overthink things. So either you or someone that you're dealing with is an over analyzer. Now this person also can play with your mind, uh, toying with your emotions, stringing you along. This person can try and take your ideas and pass them off as their own. This person might like to try and rule your mind. This person could be narcissistic. This person could be someone that you are uh, in a mental um, game playing uh, battle of the wills with. Now also this person might be trying to escape uh, so their wild oats. This person could be lying and cheating and, and treating you for a fool. They're taking, um, it's almost like they're trying to convince you with their their thoughts, that you're crazy, uh, that you're the one with the issue. So this is air signs, uh, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. So be careful, those that are single this week, uh, you might meet someone who sounds too good to be true, uh, they are too good to be true, this person is uh, not my monkey, not my circus. So say thank you very much and keep on walking. I hope you've enjoyed that reading, I shall see you again next week. Thank you.